The day started as an ordinary morning, with an ordinary oatmeal breakfast, an ordinary walk with Arya, and an ordinary shower. Until something out of the ordinary happened. What's up, Internet and the low? <laughs> it's me, 2G Flicks, with your gear fix. This is the Giant Mouse Nazca. The Nazca is a departure from the ordinary Giant Mouse design and is their first crossbar lock. Its design is both angular, organic, and unique when compared to their current Ace line. Because it was so different, Giant Mouse initially thought to name the knife Alien. But after checking the listings on Blade HQ, they found too many other knives at the time that were named Alien. So they decided to name it Nazca after the Nazca lines in the South American country of Peru. The Nazca is a best tech manufactured knife and the overall quality of the build is excellent. The canvas micarta scales has a nice soft texture. They also have titanium scaled versions if you like. Though I do wish the inner steel liners had been blasted or stonewashed instead of this polished shiny finish. A beautifully done flat satin belt grind graces the surface of the blade and the factory edge cuts well out of the box. The blade does ride on bearings and the cross lock springs are really firm which makes the action much more lively and snappy than other crossbar lugs I've tried. Like the Benchmade Adamus or this SRM knife, which have light soft blade deployments. Though the action of all of these knives are quite smooth. If you're into acoustics, the Nazca does make a nice thwack when it hits its good sized top pin. Now because the crossbar contact points are smoothly rounded and the tension of the springs are firm, when engaging or disengaging, one really has to be intentional with it. I've had the Nazca for a few weeks now and the lock springs are slowly breaking in, but I do appreciate the firm and brisk action. So how about the Ergos? I will say in my medium sized hands, it feels good and I personally don't feel any hot spots. Unless I really, really bear down hard, then I feel a little discomfort in the pinky area. But that could just be my skinny fingers. The pocket clip disappears in my palm and I barely know it's there. The Nazca carries well in the pocket and is just substantial enough that you know it's living there. Here's how it looks out of the pocket. Lockup is solid with no up and down or side to side play. If you like how it looks, the Nazca could be right at home in your pockets too.